I would not go to Bloomfield and take a church and make a dope house out of it. The people would put a rope around my neck. This was Mayor Hubert Yap earlier this month, making no apologies about the city of Highland Park seizing this building more than 16 months ago and never giving it back. Yap and the city alleged the building, which was formerly a church, was being used to run an illegal narcotics operation. But the building owners, Justina and Matt Kozbel, insist they were legally growing medical marijuana. They were never charged, and the city later offered to give the building back for a price. They offer to give us building back for two police cars. But I told him, I don't need police cars. And he said, no, it's not, it's not for you guys. It's for the city of Highland Park. They wanted two new Fords, in fact, totaling about $70,000. The Kospols didn't buy the cars, so Highland Park kept the building. But today, we learned the city changed its mind. The property on Hamilton is going to be returned to my client. What changed? I think you are what changed. Mark Delden is the Kozbel's attorney who sued the city to get the property back. Yesterday, he says he got a call from city attorney Terry Ford agreeing to release the property free of charge more than 500 days since they seized it. There's clearly no respect for the Constitution or, or people's rights, but there appears to be a fear of the media because it took a call from you and a story for them to do the right thing. Just how out of line was the city's request? Well, we couldn't find a forfeiture attorney who's ever heard of one like it. William Mays has handled dozens of forfeiture cases throughout his career. The problem with it is we've always alleged that police are in this. It's, it's policing for profit. That, oh yeah, the police are going to make all this money off of it. Well, this is saying that out loud. And remember, the Coastals have not been charged with anything by Wayne County's prosecutor. Surprisingly, that was news to Mayor Yap. What was the crime they committed, sir? What are you talking about? You see haven't charged them with, they were not charged with a crime. See my, what? They've not been charged with any crime, my sir. The attorney charged them, as far as I know. Oh, he didn't, sir. <laughs> They've been charged with nothing. You better see the city attorney, because you're wrong. No, the prosecutor confirms no charges have been filed. Today, by phone, Mayor Yap declined to comment on the city's sudden reversal, but already, other elected leaders have said the seizure shouldn't have happened in the first place. That's rotten. That's, I mean, that's, that's, not the way to, that's not the way to do it. Carlton Clyburn is the city council president in Highland Park. He's also running to be its next mayor. Hubert Yap will not be seeking another term. The word for that is extortion, right? I mean, you know, you can't just, you know, negotiate like that because it's a process. Even though they're getting their building back, the Coesbills lawsuit against the city continues tonight. We don't know what it might end up costing taxpayers, but for the cash-strapped city, any price would be too high. It's sad that the people of Highland Park have to live with an administration that has no respect for constitutional rights, but a fear of the media. Why does it take a call from you, Ross, for them to do what's right and give somebody their property back?